Thank you. With that, um, we'd like to open up uh, the uh, board meeting for the Orange County Funding Corporation, today being Wednesday, October 20th, approximately 8, 12 p.m. Um, to open up the meeting, uh, Bill, can you take a roll, please? Yes, I can. Uh, Michael Torelli? Yes. John Dowd? Present. Present. Leslie Fieri? Present. Dean Cambury? Present. Vincent Odock? Yes. And Paul Miscavige? Present. Okay, all six members are present. All right, we have uh, in front of us or attached to the agenda. Do we have a attached agenda or separate? I'm sorry. Yeah. Separate, we have minutes. One place in our packet. There. Uh, uh, they yep. were they completed afterwards, so yep. I think they were they put together. Uh, any questions, concerns, uh, discussion about the uh, minutes? Without that, uh, I'd like to pass a motion to accept the minutes. Uh, voice vote was okay on this one. All in favor say aye. 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 There, uh, your motion? Yeah. Is there a second? Eight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, finance. In finance, you'll have uh, uh, the fund balance should be part of the sheet. I think that's page two. No. Page three. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Page three. Nope, go take that yeah, you see the fund balance here uh, presently is $1.6 million. Total uh, that's in there. Uh, we are, uh, just as, as of note, uh, you see in the budget for 2022 uh, an, an item uh, to pay uh, for the Heritage Trail. That's an approval of, of uh, a grant to Orange County for the extension of the Heritage Trail. So just keep that in mind. That's a million dollars that's earmarked for that. But there's our balance there. And you're seeing the latest financials again, as, as usual, been in line with what we've been doing uh, after our cuts. Uh, that's the financials, and the only other piece is to talk about the resiliency loan. So let's go on one thing at a time. Let's do the uh, um, so the fund balance sheet. We don't have to vote on that's just a presentation. September financial reports. Let's go over that. That's on page two. You'll see that. Any questions, concerns about the financials? Uh, I'd like to uh, accept the motion to accept those financials as presented. Leslie, second, please. Second. Roll call, Bill. Torelli? Yes. Dowdo? Yes. Fieri? Yes. Tambury? Yes. Odok? Yes. Roskevich? Yes. Bye bye. On the agenda is the resiliency loan update, which is on your last page, page four. Uh, yes. I'll stick aside. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the resiliency loan fund, just to uh, everyone have that sheet, right? Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> 49 loans, you know, we're out. Uh, we have actually uh, 12. It shows paid in full. We actually have 13 now, and there are two others that owe a very small amount. So we're, we're uh, you know, going to be up to 15 soon. Uh, that have all paid. Uh, then we have 37 that have paid partial, uh, looking at uh, current and behind a little lower than there. Uh, most have paid at least 10 months by now. Uh, six of them received deferral, so they've made four payments. Um, and so we have uh, 31 that are current and another, let's see, six that are, are behind. Uh, three are just a little behind and uh, three have not made a payment yet. So we have uh, you know, three of the loans that we Received any payments, but others that are either catching up, uh, and use the deferral, um, and or or are uh, on time. Where are we standing right now? Roll on. Um, we also have a budget. Okay. Right. Something to vote on. Yeah. That's a standalone piece of paper for the OCFC budget. Um, I go over that bill? Sure. Okay. So not a lot of uh, modifications to the first draft that you'd seen. Uh, bond closing fee, that's for any bonds. I don't have them in, uh, you know, planned for, but it's something that I definitely expect to uh, really be marketing for. I'd like to see some bond transactions, so don't have any in there for 2022. We do for us to really ramp that up. Uh, loan principal payments, everything we're just talking about, uh, loan interest paid. 
and then investment earnings, that again is on the fund balance investments you make into any of the CDs or money markets that you so choose, as you talked about before. Uh, under expenses, legal counsel, general counsel, portion for OCFC, uh, uh, insurance, uh, that's professional liability, uh, directors and officers of insurance, is about 16 and change for uh, 2021, so expecting a small increase there. Uh, bookkeeping is the portion of our engagement in UHY that goes towards OCFC. Um, Yep, and uh, uh, this is the portion of the next uh, portion of fiscal audit. I do have two amounts in there. Uh, the um, just that the audit itself, which you see the past number 6,300, 6,000. I have 8,000 because our engagement letter with UHY actually stipulates that we pay them uh, a fee for them uh, readying the uh, agency for uh, the audit because of the, the loan work and everything they're doing there. Uh, the uh, year in assistance with audit and approval conversion, $2,900 annually. That's in the last engagement we have, letter we have from them. <clears throat> so that's why I guesstimated that at that figure. Uh, loan administration, this is uh, for what we do pay in UHY, plus there's uh, bill.com service we use for bill pay and down home program, which is basically a proprietary program to help manage the loan fund. So those costs are in there as well. Uh, and then you see project expenditures, that's the heritage trail we have earmarked for 2022, extended from 2021. We expect the county to request an extension of that because of some delays, mostly due to Conrail, that the county attorney can explain to you. Uh, but that's it. You, um, uh, that's really, it's not that different than what we presented in finance committee, but that's, that's the short and sweet uh, OCFC 2022. Discussion, questions, concerns? With that, I'll make a motion. Um, to accept the budget as drafted, 10-17-21 revision. I'll make the motion. Second. I'll second. Yeah. I'll second. Roll call, Bill. Uh, Torelli? Yes. <clears throat> Doubted? Yes. Pierre? Yes. Hanbury? Yes. Savage? Yes. Oda? Yes. Six eyes. Motion back. Great. Next on the agenda for OCFC is an investment portion of the OCFC fund balance. So as you can look on that page three, we have uh, uh, 1.6 uh, million in this, these accounts, one of which is a money market with Orange Bank and Trust, which is an interest bearing account. Um, uh, knowing um, right well that we have a potential expenditure uh, for the grant to Orange County for the loan that leaves about that $600,000 balance. Knowing the budget we just passed, as expenditures um, of about 46,000, say $50,000 that we're expecting uh, to expend. Um, there's not much wiggle room on that aspect when it comes to that. Um, it's, uh, well, there's some, it might not be a lot. So in this aspect, I think, um, think of uh, this, um, I'm not sure how much we, if we want to do anything at all with this at this point. I'm thinking probably not. I think it probably not because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Bill or Langdon, these funds were originally put into the OCFC by the OCIDA funding of it, correct? I really, yeah. So it's something maybe we can get some history on. Sure. Because yeah, I, this listen, money all I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still oh, here, they, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So, Mike, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but so so the, the monies that the, the monies that are on deposit with the OCFC, and, and I'll give you a 30-second history. OCFC was founded or formed in 20, 2009, I want to say, Langdon, because the IDA was stripped of its abilities to do tax debt bonds for 501c3 organizations. So the short of it is the funds that are on deposit with the OCFC are as a result of bond financing administrative fees. Nothing came from the okay. IDA. It wasn't an expenditure from the IDA to the OCFC. It's no. Something that they, that they uh, accrued in, from bond financing. That's exactly correct. And only for 501c3s? Uh, well, 501c3s, affordable housing projects, uh, you know, qualifying tax exempt bond financing. Okay, so that's something that we want to better understand. Maybe, maybe as a presentation at a committee meeting or something, you can help us better understand how the OCFC can generate funds. Sure. Um, so we know we so we know how to actually market it. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you there in the background. <laughs> no problem. All right, so uh, with that, uh, I think we're not going to entertain any motion or anything like that. We'll just leave it as is for now, um, and we'll continue to work on that and get to better understand that. Any other business before the OCFC? Any questions, concerns? That, sorry, it's taking three hours and 22 minutes. And we, got we got a lot done today. Uh, we can hang our head on many different things, um, including the passing a budget uh, for, the, for, for, for both hiring a CEO, executive director, um, divesting out of some accelerators that uh, are needed to be divested out of, as well as investing some money. That was a big meeting, and I want to thank everybody for their patience, time, but more importantly, the cooperation that we all can get along and get this done. It's a tough, it's not as easy as you think uh, sometimes, but uh, I want to thank everybody, and I look forward to continuing to work with everybody. With that, I'll entertain a motion to uh, uh, close the OCFC meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, we're closed. Thank you.